today at 2.20 p.m. Our nation suffered a tragic air accident in Sindar area, Keben location, Tort Division in Elgeo Marraquet County. I am deeply saddened to announce the passing on of General Francis Omondi Ogola, the Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. Together with him in the crash were 11 other gallant military personnel, nine who also passed on with him, and two survivors. The gallant military personnel who passed on with General Ogola are Brigadier Swale Saidi, Colonel Duncan Keitan, Lieutenant Colonel David Sawe, Major General, sorry, Major George Benson Magondu, who was also the pilot, Captain Sora Mohammed, Captain Hilary Litali, Senior Sergeant John Kinua Muraidi, Sergeant Cliffons Omondi, and Sergeant Ross Nyawira. The Chief of Defense Forces on board the Kenya Air Force Hiwi helicopter had left Nairobi this morning to visit troops deployed in the North Rift under the Operation Maliza Uhalif and to also inspect the ongoing school renovation works in the following schools. Jesse Tet Primary School, Cheptulel High School, Cheboton Primary School, Ksa Primary School, and Saplimoi Primary School. As part of his working tour, the CDF had been briefed on the security situation by a multi-agency team stationed at Chesitet in Baringo County, after which he proceeded to the Kainuk Forward Operating Base in the Turkana County where he addressed troops, commending them for their resilience and operational success. The Chief of Defense Forces and his entourage departed from Kainuk to Chesegon in West Pokot County, where he launched the rehabilitation of Cheptulel Boys High School. He then departed Chesegon for the recruits training school in Wasingishu County where he was scheduled to inspect construction facilities at the institution. Unfortunately, the aircraft crashed shortly after takeoff. This is a very sad moment, a moment of great sadness. For me, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, it is a tragic moment for the Kenya Defense Forces fraternity and it is a most unfortunate day for the nation at large. Our motherland has lost one of her most valiant generals. We have also lost gallant officers, servicemen, and women. The demise of General Ogola is a painful loss to me, and certainly the sorrow we all feel about this passing on is shared by all of the people of Kenya, and most especially the KDF fraternity. A distinguished four-star general has fallen in the cost of duty 
and in the service of country. I convey my deepest condolences to all families that are grieving this untimely loss and our mourning nation as well. May the Almighty God rest their souls in peace and grant their families fortitude at this time of very deep sorrow. I also wish quick recovery to the two injured soldiers in this accident who are now in hospital. The Kenya Air Force has constituted and dispatched an air investigation team to establish the cause of the air crash. In honor of the life and the distinguished military career of the fallen general who lost his life, not just while in office, but in active military duty, the nation will observe a period of three days of mourning commencing tomorrow, the 19th of April, 2024. During this time of national mourning, the Kenya flag, the Kenya Defense Forces flag, the East African Community flag, and flags of all formations of the military shall fly at half-mast in the Republic of Kenya and in Kenya missions abroad. Polen Sana.